Hey guys, welcome back to Cooking at Home with Derek. Uh, today will not be a cooking episode so much as a um, one showing a little bit of some of the basic utensils and items you will need for my videos. So here I have my shelf with, it's really, really crowded, but you can see my spice rack. This holds, I think, 60 or 65 spices. And I have some canisters and stuff. But for this this channel, you're going to need um you I'm gonna go over a few spices you will need. You'll most definitely need um salt. My container is not yes, you'll definitely need salt. You will definitely need uh, lemon pepper seasoning. And um, cinnamon, cardamom, and those are some of the main spices you will need. Um, also, for this channel, you will need. Um, let's see, where is it? You will need rice. Now, I use basmati and jasmine, so you will see different ices I make. Um, you will need mint um, tea. Now, I had the question in my last video of what tea do I use. I use leaf tea, but uh, translated, this is like a black tea. Um, I also use Ceylon tea. So that one's like really little and thin. This one is longer. I don't know if you can see that. Longer tea strips. So that is one I use, and this tea is probably one of my favorites. And I also use um, Ramazan. It's uh, this tea is so delicious. Um, I, I forgot one spice. So this is one that we have not yet used, but you will need it for this channel. This is what you call uh, citric acid. And yes, it's edible, but um, it's used in desserts and stuff. So, also, you will need um, a lot of chicken bouillon. So, I have this big container here, and this is powdered. I don't really like the cubes. I mean, over here, I do have the cubes that I get from my local world market or international market, I should say. Um, let me put this back. We're going to use a lot of tomato paste and sauce. I mean, I have several of these down there. See, I told you that I do buy the cubes. But, as I said, I do like to stick to the powdered chicken bouillon. So that is one thing that if you don't want to take the time to boil water and drop a cube for like how much? Mm, like two, three cups of this, then I definitely recommend the powder. Just boil it and dump the powder in instead of having something to dissolve. Um, something else we will use on this channel, have not yet gotten to, is chickpea flour. So, um, I'm, I want to show you all how to make something called potato pakoras, which my sister, I use like in quote, out quote, but my sister in India, she used to live here where I am, but she went back and I uh, just saw lightning. But my sister, um, like we FaceTime a lot and um, she taught me how to make potato pakoras. So. Also, we're going to use a lot of powdered sugar. So, Again, we've not used much of this, but we are going to use powdered sugar and such. Something else we will use a lot, yeast. I like the fast rise yeast because it, it goes a little bit quicker, but you know, still, there's active dry, there's instant, there's all sorts of stuff. So, um... These are bread lentils. 
haven't. Well, we did use. It. Well, we're going to use them. Let me put it like that. Oil. Now I use. I have sesame oil in my house. I have olive oil, and of course I have vegetable oil. This can. We are going to need a lot of oil. I also happen to have a thing of shortening. This is all vegan, like organic vegan shortening. I'm not vegan. I'm not vegetarian, but. This is what they had at my Whole Foods store. And this was really, really cheap. Like, this container for how much? Mm, let's see. 24 ounces or one and a half pounds of vegetable shortening was like five or six dollars. So that's pretty cheap for shortening. But I use extra virgin olive oil and I use lighter flavor olive oil. And then we just have vegetable oil here. Crisco pure vegetable. I like to get these bigger ones because I go through a lot of oil. As you know on this channel. Also, something else you have seen. We will need a lot of vanilla extract. So when I used to, um, I used to shop at my Whole Foods a lot, but... I've not been there in a while, and you can get um, a container of vanilla, like, but squirt the vanilla from the container into your container, and it is, like, super cheap also. So, they also sell vanilla powder, vanilla bean, vanilla paste, I mean, everything. Um, we haven't gotten much honey yet, but we will need honey, and you will see us use honey some. Um, let's see what else. Boba, our boba tea. If you want to follow my boba tea recipe, you can go to the uh, link below and watch that video because boba tea is so delicious. Um, this is one of my favorites. Um, let me get. I buy these. These are like a dollar at my Indian grocer, 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 whatever. It's Papad, or also known as Papadam in some places. So, yeah, when I say I buy a lot of these, I buy a lot. There are two kinds that I get. I get the per uh, Kerala Papadam Laksmi brand, and I get the Apalams uh, Lax Laksmi brand also. Um, these are so delicious. My friend, who is from uh, Sri Lanka, not India, his mom used to make these when we would go over and eat curry. It's so delicious. But three packages, three dollars. That it was probably more like two sixty-five or so because I get discounts. Also, you will need some fruit syrups. You're gonna see a drink coming up. Um, let's see. I will say next week because I'll go go to the grocery store Sunday. Tomorrow I will have two videos come out, and Saturday I'll have a couple videos come out when I cook. So stay tuned for those. Sunday I'll go to the grocery store. Don't expect a video on Sunday probably. And we will make a drink on Monday or Tuesday. Now she need rose water. We use a lot of rose water on my channel. I have about, uh, this is like, um, I have another bought all of these but it's oh my gosh I'm in love with rose water so we do use rose water a fair amount um let's see I have my bag of like spices okay this bag looks rough I know um this is the newest bag I have an old bag in here from about three or four years ago and I have this bag from about 2000 and six or seven when I first started shopping for my whole spices. So I have like coriander seeds. I have all sorts of things. You'll know more about that later on in this video. I tried this Thai tea mix and honestly it's not my favorite. It's really disgusting. I shouldn't say that but this was like $14 for two of these. And it's very disgusting. I think I threw away the other one. It was like super nasty. I thought it was gonna be delicious. And I don't know what's in it. 
Maybe it's because I didn't mix it with condensed milk. But yeah, it's... We'll, we'll try to make it with condensed milk. I, ha I have more on my shelf, so... Something else we have not yet used. Um, sour orange. You'll see me. Just wait till we make arroz con pollo. Ooh. Okay. Move. Um, some of these aren't important, so I'm not going to worry about showing all of these. Okay, put that back. Spices. Okay. I feel like that's it. Oh, you guys will need, um, a fair amount of condensed milk. We will use a lot of that. Here, on cooking at home again. Korean sea salt. Um, if you know, if you follow my cousin and my channel, Derek Thompson, thankful vlogging. I have a kimchi video, lettuce kimchi video. Uh, I can probably do a cabbage kimchi. But, um, yeah. So. Um. You will need a lot of potatoes. I think that's it on the foods and such. Okay. Moving on. Oh. Yeah, that's it. Moving on. Okay. Moving on to utensils. Um. For this channel, you're going to need a variety of utensils. I hate to say it, but you will. So what should we start with? Um, we'll go ahead and start with this. So this is optional, and I do have like 65 spices right here. But 65 for me, no way. I have like 110, 115 spices and all. I have spices down here. I have spice jars down. I mean, I have spice jars everywhere, and I make my own spices too. So. This, I have not yet refilled because I need to stock up on my spices, which I will do this weekend. This weekend, yeah. Or tomorrow, either or. And I will actually take my phone into that store and I will record and I will come out with a video and I will show you my local international grocery store. Not Indian grocery store, but international. So this is my masala daba. I can fit, um, let's see, that's four. Seven spices. I usually have like mustard seeds or cumin seeds here and then powder spices. So yeah. Buy one of these. I also have another one that's wooden back there. Um. Oh boy. Uh, also for utensils, of course, you're measuring cups and measuring spoons and sieves. I use about three different styles of sieves. I have my small one. I have my larger black one over here. You have seen that one over there. And I use that one for like when I make roti usually, but I didn't sieve the flour when I made it for you all. Also, oh, I have a sushi mat. Was, I'll make a video on that here soon. Maybe. I have about seven mortar and pestles. I have like all sorts and kinds and yada yada. We have a meat thing. Meat mallet I guess. We have um, also you'll need rolling pins. I have about four or five different kinds of rolling pins. Um, you will for larger recipes and videos, a scale will be helpful. Um, of course, you'll need a blender on this channel. Um, skillets and pots and pans. Those are some utensils you will need. But I went over some of the more utensils that you don't see in everybody's kitchen. So like this. Like the mortar and pestle and like the seed. 
But yeah, so I hope you all enjoyed this video. And I hope you all continue to watch my videos. And I will see you next time on Cooking at Home with Derek.